Our paper addresses the following problem. Given a set of objects, shown in blue, and a set of view cells, shown in light gray, we compute the set of visible objects per view cell with a global and progressive algorithm. We use the concept of maximally free line segments. Starting from a point, we can shoot two rays lying on the same line. The two rays hit either two objects, one object, or no objects. If either two or one objects are hit, we insert the objects to the visible set of all view cells stabbed by the line segment. We make use of stationary and mutation-based sampling strategies. A stationary sampling strategy does not make use of previous samples. An example strategy is to pick a random point inside the view cell and a random direction. A mutation-based strategy mutates a previously sampled line segment with the goal of finding nearby rays and nearby view cells. We keep a set of line segments in memory to seed mutation strategies. Next, we show a visualization of the line segments stored in memory. At the beginning, most rays are stemming from stationary sampling. After a short startup phase, we can observe that mutation-based sampling focuses on important parts of ray space. Please note that this example uses only a few line segments for visualization purposes. The following sequence shows real-time capture of some of the interactions possible with our interactive progressive global visibility system. Upon startup, shown here, the application reads a polygonal model partitioned into objects and a view cell hierarchy. All data structures used for visibility, including the KDE tree, are quickly calculated on the fly in a few seconds. The blue text in the main window indicates the number of objects in the current PVS of the current view cell. First, we show a render cost visualization of the whole view space. View cells with lower render cost are marked in cold colors. View cells with higher render cost in warm colors. We can filter away view cells with lower render cost in order to find visibility hotspots. A progressive solution allows a preview of visibility hotspots already after a few seconds. This is extremely important in level design for interactive applications. Note that the same would take several hours in a non-progressive solution. Cutting planes can be used to help orientation in the visualization. After only one minute of computation on this Intel Core 2 2.6 GHz machine, we can already walk through the whole model with an initial visibility solution. While there are of course still visibility errors, the solution is constantly refined in the background. The inside of the ARENA model is especially difficult due to the high visibility complexity and amount of small details. The quality of the current visibility solution can be assessed through an error visualization for individual frames. Here visibility errors are marked in red. The visibility filter used here is a heuristic to reduce visibility errors in early stages of the computation by spatially expanding the visibility solution. Note that visibility errors have now disappeared. Here we visualize some of the rays that are currently being used in the visibility computation running in the background. Finally, we show some more frames of the walkthrough after only two and a half minutes of computation, with very few apparent errors.